Um, I got in Montevi originally because he was constantly in pain and he uh, wouldn't do the other healthy things that I was trying to get him to do, so I was looking for a simple solution that would um, make him a happy guy again because he was pretty miserable. So I made a commitment. I said, okay, I've got to do something. I was banged up. I was hurting. I was sleeping maybe two hours a night, tossing and turning. I was a bear. My kids couldn't hardly stand me. My wife couldn't stand me. Well, I mean, he's, he's had a myriad of physical issues. He was run over by a car when he was four. He rode bulls as a uh, young, like a teenager into his 20s. And uh, he had herniated disc in his back. So he's just, he's kind of a mess physically. <laughs> Things have changed in my life to where I get to play baseball with my kids. I can, I played the other day for an hour and a half behind the mound catching the 14 year old boys for an hour and a half. I couldn't do that last year for 10 minutes but I could stay on my knees and do it for an hour and a half and I was so pleased about it. Bull riding is, isn't about strength. Bull, bull riding is about mental and balance. A lot of the things that my teacher, Gary LaFue, taught me, I see in Montevideo. His number one rule was, if you want to be successful and you want to be the best of the best, you hang around with the best of the best because the best of the best are going to take whatever it takes to get it done. Losers and people that aren't going to be successful, they're going to blame everybody else. It was, a, it was a bad bull. The judge was biased. The gate man drug the gate open on me. They're going to come up with every excuse in the world but take sole responsibility for their actions. And I see a whole lot of that in Monty.